Ladies and gentlemen, we have a major crisis on our hands. This is the worst our country has been since 2008 back in Louisiana. Ever since President Crump has been elected, people have been rioting all throughout Regent City and it's even caused the police to pull out. So now I am taking over the police department. The broad darkness agents will now begin to restore order to Regent City. Due to this uprising, it has caused the civilians to split into five different local gangs. Team Trans, Crump Army, the Anti-Fascists, the Feminazis and BLM. All these gangs are hard at work causing more and more damage to our society and due to this our police want absolutely nothing to do with this town. I, Yolanda Royce, will help restore order to this town. Yolanda? Do you happen to know the names of any of the gang leaders? Yes, Agent Ark, in fact I do. Rita Poltz, the leader of Team Trans and a massive Crump hater. The leader of Crump Army is a strange white supremacist calling himself the Stag and he wears a deer head on his head. Preston Winston who is the leader of the anti-fascist group. He also called his group the Region Legion and they were the original gang in this town before the election of Crum. Kier Jeremy who is the leader of the Feminazis. And BLM is run by a mob boss who calls himself Done Dirty Work. It's been a couple years since I'd had any kind of missions. I gladly will lend a hand to help the broad darkness agents to restore order to this town. After all my ninja skills will definitely help with taking care of any gang violence that may happen within the next year. We are definitely going to need your help with this one, just 10. As our top agent I am definitely going to need your help with enforcing gang curfews and handling violent civilians. Yolanda, thank you very much for also joining us with this brand new task force. You also have been quite an asset to the team, and thank you for sticking with us in this time of dire need. Hey, boss, don't forget about me. I'm definitely not going to forget about you, Johnson. After all without your help, the broad darkness agents wouldn't have even been made possible. You're welcome Agent Mark, and I will stick with this group through thick and thin, and I'll even have to bust some heads if I have to. That might be the only option we have with this one. This job is definitely going to be difficult especially with how uncivilized the civilians here in this town have become after the election of Danny Crump. It's unreal. All this violence over the election of a president who used to be a celebrity. And because of all these gangs forming, absolutely nobody has jobs anymore and are destroying everything. We got to put a stop to this, everybody. It has even made it difficult for Justin and I to raise our child in this town, especially with everything going out of business due to lack of staff members. Definitely for the children in this town, we have to stop the violence. All it's doing is creating a gateway to a future of more gang violence amongst the next generation. Let's round up the rest of our patrols and hit the streets. Johnson, I need you to get a hold of Peyton and John Hancock. And we also need to begin hiring more agents for this group if we are going to fully take over the streets in Red Region City of the gang violence. I'm issuing a code green for Region City. Let's move out.
Luna, honey, I am home finally. Oh, hi, Benji. How was work today? Oh, geez, I'll tell you what, Luna. This job seems to get harder and harder every day. Man, I'm worn out. Well, nobody said being a makeup salesman for Hay Corporation was easy. Anyways, I made your favorite for dinner tonight. Oh, boy. You're gonna get naked and hop up on the table again. What? Hey, no, not that, you rotten thing, you. I made stir-fry. You know, with noodles, chicken, beef, mushrooms and broccoli. Just the way you like it. Oh, sweet. I've been looking forward to it all day. Thanks, love. Now that naked thing, I can do that again later if you want. Wow, babe. You are so naughty. Let's eat first and we'll see. I'm starving. Anyways, what all happened at work today, baby? Well, our department manager keeps sticking me with Ricky, and he sucks. He doesn't do shit and it is really pissing me off. He literally leaves me to do all the damn work while he plays games on his phone. And yet, he's getting a promotion? Sometimes, he acts like he smokes out of a crack pipe before he goes to work. Well, leave it to big corporations to give promotions to the ones who actually don't do any kind of work. I'm sorry that we're doing this to you, Benji. It's okay. Me and a couple guys at work were planning to report him and say that we caught him jacking off in the bathroom. Well, Benji. That's pretty fucked up. But I guess you got to do what you got to do in order to get that guy out of the workplace. The work you do by yourself is already strenuous enough without having to do a second person's job. And to think, this is what I get for taking up on my brother's offers. God damn it, Mark. Why would you stick me in such a shitty work environment? Isn't the owner of this business his old friend or something? Yeah, it's his old tag team partner from Kurdistania who inherited the family corporation about 10 years ago. Maybe if I talk to Mark about this he can tell the owner and she can have something done about this. Luna? What in the hell is this shit? American Sing Star. Apparently this dude is winning. I don't see how. This dude sounds like he got his nuts repeatedly kicked. And there's fax news. And they're reporting another murder. I swear, all these idiots do who show the worst side of everything including people. They especially hate President Crump for some reason. I mean just about everybody in this town has quit being civil and people are rioting over his election. The only thing in business anymore is hey, corporation. Just about everything else is out of business, because people quit and started splitting into gangs and stuff. Hey, your brother is in the news. Take a look at this. What is he really planning to accomplish with this task force that he's putting together? If the police can't save this town, how does he expect to save it? I, Agent Mark Dark, founder of the Broad Darkness Agents hereby declares that we are taking over the police department due to their absence and lack of motivation for continuing to protect this town from all the gang violence. Our bounty hunting squad will protect the citizens of Regent City and rid the streets of all the gang violence and start enforcing gang curfews and everything we need to do to put a stop to all the madness. Well, good luck if you can save this rundown central Florida town. So, Don, explain to me why it is that you want to meet me here. You know our factions still don't take kindly to one another. Look, now I know you don't like me and I don't like you. Especially since you decided to bring a shotgun and a chainsaw with you to this meeting. You guys are the KKK typing we just don't like anybody who's white. But here's the thing pal, I would like to make a proposition with you. A proposition? Now how do I know why I can trust you with this? 
Despite what you may think of me based on my skin color, I have always been an honest man. Now let me let you in on what we're doing. I'm very concerned about this Preston Wilcherson person who's running the NB fascist group, or as they call themselves, the Region Legion. What about that little piss ain't? I could whoop his ace any day. Well stag they're increasingly growing in members every day and they're claiming more and more turf in Region City. And not to mention, the internet makes fun of all of us every last one of us and calls us stupid and every other kind of despicable name you can think of. Now is the time we stand up and change that. If we can take down the Region Legion we can own this town together. Maybe even call a truce in the end if possible. That's a good way to get those dang old feminazis down our throats. It's enough that any gang around here with men have to compete against them due to the fact they think they're manly enough to be alone. The feminazis won't be able to stand up against us. I really need your help. Are you going to help me with this, or are we going to keep fighting our race war? Look, you need to stop being uptight about this, especially since you're standing in front of a guy who's got a shotgun and a chainsaw. Yeah, before you came here, I told you not to bring any weapons. Why the hell did you bring that stuff anyways? Before I come here to this meeting, I was taking care of some Legion members myself. They were a bunch of pushovers. One of them done ruined my dear headmask which is why I had to pick something else to wear. Oh. So you've been taking on the Legion by yourself? Then I really guess you don't need me to help you at all. Maybe you should get out of here and go fuck your sister. Yeah. Well, I don't need any help from any of you damn old me. This is the Broad Darkness Agents! Everybody on the ground now! Shit. Bro, I'm out of here. Oh, hell. The fuzz is here. Cletus. Start up the truck engines. Roll over now! So it looks like we found where BLM is hiding out. They definitely chose a secretive spot to stay considering it's out here in the middle of the business district. Hopefully tonight, we can put an end to this gang. That way, it will show everyone in this town the broad darkness agents means business. Looks like some of their goons are hanging out outside of the hideout. We'll have to be very careful with our raid. Make sure they're not armed. I've been itching for an assignment since the last time I was in Japan about 10 years ago, when I took down Mr. Mastodon. Well baby they will probably be easy targets considering these guys are not superhumans like the Mastodon. Alright love, let's go ahead and get out of the car and take these guys in. Hey boss, we got some visitors here, you gotta look at this bruh. Alright guys, the game is over. You are all under arrest. Oh. So it looks like the new bitch ass task force is trying to take us in. You know the drill boys. Make them suffer. Well boys, let's go ahead and put away this wannabe police force trash out by the road. And not to mention take care of that stupid car too. Seven years later and the sex is still amazing. I couldn't have picked anyone better to lay in bed with. Did you enjoy it, babe? It was great as usual, but you seem to have enjoyed it more considering you're sitting there in a condom full of cum. And that is the reason why you've been nicknamed the master. Oh, you know it you sexy little fucker you. I don't know about you, Luna, but I think I'm ready for another round. Then come here and give me another good fucking. We'll have to put this on hold, babe. That might be my job calling. Hello? Hello, Benji, is this you? Mark? Hey. How have you been doing? 
I haven't heard from you in a long time. Is everything okay with you? How is the new task force working out? Actually, I'm calling in regards to that. You remember Jason, right? You and him were always pretty good friends. Yeah, I remember him. He offered to train me so I could join the broad darkness. I turned the offer down so I could work for Amy's business, in an office. What happened to Jaws Tun? Well, yesterday, he and Yolanda went after BLM, and we're nearly killed and had their squad car destroyed. They are in serious condition at the hospital with a few fractures and broken ribs and some burns from the car explosion. They are barely hanging on to life. Luckily, a passerby saw them and scared off the BLM members before they were further harmed and got them to the hospital. Oh, no, not just Tom. While I was visiting them in the hospital, they told me to tell you that if anything happened to them, you would get custody of their son Zachary. Completely understood, Mark. I may go down there later and see them myself. Babe. Who was it? It was Mark. My old friend from his task force is hanging on to life after an attack by one of the local gangs. He and Yolanda both are nearly dead. What? That's horrible, sweetie. Way to go, Mark. He has nearly got my best friend killed thinking he can save this cesspool and rid it of its filth by replacing the police department. Honey, Mark is just doing what he feels is right for this town. It wasn't his fault that Justin got hurt. No, it's not even that. It's the fact that he doesn't know what he is getting into here in Regent City. And him causing his best agents to nearly die may have completely fucked up his chances of saving this city. People here may not have special abilities like a lot of Just Hen's former enemies, but mental diseases make these people here much harder to handle. Look, Benji. He is going to be okay I assure you. You know what Luna? The more I think about him the more I think I could probably do a better job at running my own task force than Mark. Hell. I can probably do a better job at fighting some of these gangs than him and his agents are right now considering I can actually get into the minds of these people unlike Mark. Well, Benji. I think it's time. What? Benji. There. There. Is something about me that I have neglected to tell you since we met. Luna. What are you saying? Benji. For the last seven years, I have neglected to tell you where I'm really from. Babe. I'm not from Greece. I'm actually from another world. Luna. What are you saying? Benji. I'm an angel. An angel from the afterworld. I'm not human. Huh? Luna. Stop messing around. And what does that have to do with making a task force? I'm getting to that, babe. But first, step out back with me so I can show you. I have had them stored in my back since we met and they are aching to get out for a stretch. Wait, I thought those were just tattoos. Oh, no, Benji. Those are not the wings. Those are plain tattoos. Us angels keep our wings under our flesh and break through unrecognizable folds in the flesh. Luna, that sounds like it's very painful. Not at all. Here. Let me show you. Sweet Jesus, Luna, why didn't you tell me about this before? Before, I was afraid of how you would think of me. But now I'm showing you my true self so that way I can help you become the hero that you need to be for this city. This is my original purpose for coming to the Earth, Benji. I was sent here by the God of Gods to help train immortal in order to help protect the Earth from evil forces from beyond and even on the Earth. Whether you know it or not, you have the power to become a great warrior and I'm here to train you. Luna I kneel before you in acceptance of my fate. I will let you train me to help my brother. But what is it about me that makes me special? Through our training sessions I will show you. You will learn to unlock your hidden abilities and then learn to use them. You know, I'm kind of glad I'm out of everybody's sight while I'm needing because if I wasn't, and was in plain sight, I'd probably get a commercial.
Good evening and welcome to Channel 55 News. I'm Katie Swan. And I'm Michael Morkinson. Our top story, more sexual assaults have been reported in the region city area by 10 more women. The rapes have been reported to have been committed by the infamous serial rapist known as the Pervy Pants. This is the first attack he has made in almost seven years. Police have yet to catch him. He is said to wear glow-in-the-dark face paint shaped like an X and a D on his face. If seen, please call the task force. In related news, feminist leader Carol Jeremy claims that the pervy punts raped her seven years ago and is holding a protest outside of the Broad Darkness Agent's headquarters for the safety and rights of women. They have proclaimed the task force to be sexist for not being able to arrest the rapist. Task Force Leader Mark Dark denies that the BDA is a sexist task force. Dark made mention of current member Yolanda Royce and said that women were more than free to join the task force. Also in related news, BLM members have nearly killed two broad darkness agents during a raid on their hideout after what was believed to be a drug exchange with Crump Army. Nobody knows for sure why these rival gangs were doing meeting one another but we are all afraid. Agents Jocelyn Tripp and Yolanda Royce were savagely assaulted outside Don Dirty Works hideout. They obtained broken and fractured ribs and are hanging on to life due to deadly burns they received after the BLM vandalized their squad car causing it to explode. You know, Katie, with all the crazy stuff happening in Regent City right now, I'm surprised President Trump hasn't decided to start building a wall around us. Careful what you say on the air, Michael. Don't want us to be labeled liberal news. Anyways, I'm Michael Morganson. And I'm Katie Swan. And we will be back after a work with our sponsors. What do we want? Aqua Rats! When do we want them? Like right now, Kara. You won't arrest the rapist, so what are we? Johnson, I don't know what to do about this. These people are completely angry about stuff that we can't even control. Hell, we have a plate full of stuff we got to do here. We're already taking care of a handful of gangs in this town, and now we have to take care of a serial rapist that's been showing up on and off for the last seven years. These people have to understand that we're not superheroes. Wait. Who the hell is that woman that just stabbed that femme Nazi? You feel the pathetic waste of skin make all of us women look bad. And now it's time I take care of all of you myself. Enjoy the sharpness of my sword. <laughs> Johnson. We have to get out of here and stop her. Excuse me for interrupt as I enter your room, but you're about to be the next victim of... Okay, Benji. Now we have to teach you how to channel your inner power. But that's the real question, Master. What is it that I have to do to unlock it? Some mortals don't have a special ability and some do. It will take a great amount of training to discover. For some people, they become inspired by things that greatly motivate them. Well, you've greatly motivated me over the last seven years to do the things I've done. Good. You can use that as one of your many motivations. But outside of me, what truly motivates you to live every day? Well Luna, I know that one thing that you, and I both are motivated by every day is the sound of emo rock music. What splendid idea. You are right about that. It is kind of quiet out here. Maybe we should turn on some music. Yeah! Let's punch people. Ow! Now that we spent a night teaching you to fight, 
It's time we give you a final exam and show me what you've learned. Are you sure it is time for me to finish my training? I am more than positive that you are ready. You have done very well at learning combat moves and the use of projectiles. Maybe you and I going one-on-one -on -one will help you unlock your hidden abilities. What? Wait, I can't fight you. Hell, I've never once raised a hand to you in the seven years we've been together. This would be really hard to do I hope you know. I understand, but as your master, you have to fight against me so I can see if you are ready to go into the night. For a few minutes, think of me not as your girlfriend, but as your target. And it was at that moment, when Benji Dark finally unlocked his true potential. And his true potential had transformed the world around him into some strange kind of video game setting. Fight me here in this library. Whatever I got it, I guess. Looks like you completed your training, Benji. Now you're ready to go after the guy who hurt Joss Ten and you Lunder. You can use your robes as a way to conceal your identity as you go out into the night to fight street criminals. Good evening Regent City, welcome to HDF for the first time in 10 years, Broad Darkness Agent, Agent Mark Dark returns to the ring. That's right. And this event is being held at the beach on the outskirts of town. On his way to the ring is Mark Dark himself. Though he may be aged, he is definitely ready for a comeback to wrestling even without his longtime partner, Amethyst Love.
Mark's opponent for tonight is a well-known luchador from Central California calling himself Reeser. He personally issued the challenge last month as Mark and the Broad Darkness Agent Center Town. He's definitely worked hard to get in shape for this match today. Wait! What the hell? Why are the anti-fascists here? Someone do something. My god, he just crushed his face in the mat. Wait. Who's the guy in the striped suit? He's taking on the invading goons. right through that flaming table. Benji, what the hell are you doing here? You could get yourself killed. Why are you dressed like that? I'm going to be forward with you. Your task force sucks and I could do so much better so quit being clueless and let me get your back. You guys rock in my head. The fight is being taken backstage where Mark and the strike suited guy is being attacked by Crump Army Goons. And did you hear the impact on that? <laughs> Beating you up is easier than drinking a beer. <laughs> Keep your ass down, you butt tooth hill boy. I dare you to get back up after that one! Stay down, you are under arrest. Stay down, you are under arrest. Don't worry, Mark, I'm going to keep you safe. Get my back, suit. Let me 
Stay down, you are under arrest. Keep your ass down, you buck tooth hillbilly. Wait! Can you believe the action we just saw today? This might be the best episode of HDF in a long time. Benji, what in the hell were you thinking doing that? You could have got us killed. Look, Mark. Your task force is nearly got Jaws 10 killed him, you are not solving any problems here. You've stirred up shade in this town because of stupid protesters and butthurt whinies. You are simply not making any progress, and the one guy that could do some damage is in the hospital. Benji, I don't know what the hell you were thinking, but you are getting involved with official agent work, and I could arrest you for that. I'm not because you did help me figure off the anti-fascists and crump army. Even though you made a bloody mess of the place. Wait, what are you saying? You killed them, Benji. You stabbed them several times with knives, while calling them cock waffles. There was no way that that happened. I will call us being them up with wrestling moves. You've definitely gone off the deep end this time, because that is not what happened at all. You should see the crime scene photos that were taken. Some pretty fucked up stuff. What? I don't understand. Benji, I suggest you get back home to your wife, and stay out of my business before I lock you up. Dear Benji, I really really hate that I have to do this, but I'm leaving home. The God of Gods has called me home to partake in a task that will take many of angels to complete. I do not know how long I will be away but it will probably be years. You may not even be alive when I return to Earth. I love you Benji, to be on the safe side you may have to move on without me. Please do not hate me for having to do this. Love, Luna Lane Caster. P.S. As my last act of kindness, before I left for the afterworld, I stopped at the hospital and visited your friends Jaws Tun and Yulunda. Let's just said that thanks to me they'll be making a speedy recovery and I'm having them come see you very soon. I really must say, you clown chicks are real freaks. Well you're really good at what you do, and I plan on sucking and fucking again really soon. You naughty thing. So what was it that you said you do? Outlaw Vigilante. I dress up as various comic book chicks and take to the streets to do what police can't do. And when I'm not doing that, I carry out my fetish of superhero boys and get my pussy wrecked. Grabbing Simai like a big mother trucker. He he. Well, since my last partner left, I'm looking for a new partner and you would be able to do two jobs at once. Oh, boy. Well I definitely like the sex, I'll have to think about the superhero psychic part. Well I would definitely like to have you join me. We could make history together as one of the best teams ever. I'll think about it. I gotta leave right now. I got a lot of protesters I got to take on by myself. Come back later for another round, girl. Benji, I hope you know that seeing you do stuff like this is really sad. Quiet, Jaws 10. I actually like this girl. Ever since your angel lady left, You've been doing nothing but fucking around with clown chicks who are on the run from the law in various states and moping. I don't know what you're talking about Jaws 10, 
I'm doing just fine right now. I can look at you and tell that you're still hurt from losing Luna. She left like months and months ago. As your best friend I advise you try to get a grip of yourself. Maybe try to move on or something. I've been using crime fighting as a way of trying to get past all this. I don't know what else to do Justin. Perhaps you should seek a therapist. Go out and try to talk to other girls. And quit messing around with clown painted vigilantes. Or you could just keep doing all that and remain the emo ninja that you are. Emo Ninja? What the hell do you mean you can't fix the dang ice cream machine? You know what? I want to talk to your manager right now. I swear, these people need to get their shit together. These motherfuckers never have a functioning ice cream machine, fucking dick monuments. Can't a girl get a break? Time to get back in, relax and vape. Excuse me for interrupting you lady, but have you ever had the opportunity to get a sexual experience with the likes of... Perfect pants! No, please, don't hurt me. Oh, you sit still, cause the things I'm gonna do to your insides, I assure you will not hurt! Ha <laughs> Oh, not today, Mr. Pervy Punch, you, because today, you are going to be stopped by the Emo Ninja! <laughs> Look at this boy in his stupid little teenage boy costume with mask. You really think you have what it takes to defeat the king of Hancock Pizza? <laughs> You don't have the strength it takes to take down the pervy pants! <laughs> ho ho! Who needs strength to defeat you when one has ninja razor blades? <laughs> ho 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 ho! You still cannot defeat the emo ninja! Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ah! You really think you have what it takes to defeat the king of Hancock Pizza? Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ah! Ah -ha -ha oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh ho 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 ho! You still cannot defeat the emo ninja! Ho ho! Going down, boy! <laughs> you don't have the strength it takes to take down the pervy pants! Oh ho ho oh ho! What'd you do that for? Oh ho ho oh ho! Oh ho! Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ooh. Ah! You really think you have what it takes to defeat the king of Hancock Pizza? Ah! Ha ho! Ho 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 ho! You still cannot defeat the emo ninja! You don't have the strength it takes. Ha <laughs> What did you do that for? Oh! Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh, 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 oh! 
Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Ho-ho! Going down, boy! <laughs> you don't have the strength it takes to take down the pervy pants! <laughs> oh <laughs> Look at this boy in his stupid little teenage boy costume with Matt! Oh -ho! You really think you have what it takes to defeat the king of Hancock Pizza? Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ah! Going down, boy! <laughs> you better be lucky I'm into women, boy! Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ha <laughs> ho! Oh, ho 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 ho! You still cannot defeat the emo ninja! Ho ho! Going down, boy! Ah! What did you do that for? Ah! Oh, not today, Mr. Pervy Punch You, because today you are going to be stopped by the Emo Ninja! <laughs> and now, time to take you to the police! Wait, so you're from Kurdistania, and you're friends with Amethyst? What a small world we live in. Well, we weren't always friends back in the day, but in the end, we found common ground and got over our differences against one another. Plus I also stopped doing crime back then too. Crime? No way. How is someone as cute as yourself associated with crime? Well, my stupid hormonal teenage self was in love with the guy that she married, and I ended up using what I thought was a powerful crime boss to get back at her for it. Turns out he was more than a crime boss. So Amy and I ended up getting back at him and I had to do some really messed up stuff along the way to defeating him. Even as much as killing a police officer. What? Did you really do something like that? Don't tell anybody I did that. I only did that to repay Amy and her boyfriend for all the mean and nasty things I did to them. The officer I killed was supposed to be taking care of the case of her husband's mother's death, but wasn't doing anything about it really, just playing around. So basically what you're saying is that he was a dirty cop? Yes. That piece of shit played that town like a harp from hell. I still have my mind control powder saved back for a rainy day. But I don't think I'm going to be returning to any kind of vigilante activities anytime soon. Since things didn't go through for me romantically in Crinostania, I've just been really wanting to settle down with somebody. You mean like start a family or something like that? Eventually. But what I need right now is a dependable guy to be with. Heck I think I'm down to settle for a vigilante. Maybe like you? Well. I have been missing the warm touch of a woman for the last year, or so. You are a beautiful woman by the way. Wanna go to your place? Yes, baby. Hey, Heather? Where are you at? Oh no. Not another note. Last time I had a note on the table, it nearly destroyed me. Hello Mr. Emo Ninja. 
If you wish to see your girlfriend alive again, you must come down to the Broad Darkness Agent's headquarters immediately. And I am only saying this because if you don't I will kill and every agent in the building. Just like I killed those kids at Regent City High School. But I am not going to be alone. I believe you remember my friend Mr. Pervy Pants. And also my good friend Mr. Preston Wilkes from the anti-fascist region legion. I've already taken down several of the rival gang's members by myself. I killed Kaida Jeremy, I even killed that gay ass Rita Pulse. Can you keep me from killing your brother and the rest of the agents? Come now. Son of a bitch she didn't even leave a signature. Don't worry guys, Emo Ninja is coming to save ya. Mission 1. Hey, Benji, wait for me! Pardon? I is that you? Yes, Benji! Let me help you fight these guys off! Hiya! Ha! You gotta be careful around here, Benji. This place can be kinda dangerous now that the protesters are out fighting. Stunner! Ah, the torture rock! Oh, another torture rock! Yeah! Ah! Come here! Take this stick, boys! Follow me, Peyton! I know the way! Oh, take this stick, boys! Here's a bat for you guys! Ah! Die! Die! Come on! We gotta follow the giant goat logo that shows up in these side scrollers! And pick up stuff along the way! Yep, I think this is where Perfect Pants is. <laughs> You're not complying, so die! <laughs> no! No, no, we were too late! No! Uh. Come on and take me on, Emo Ninja! Yeah! Yeah! Round two, assholes! Oh, he's coming back now! Oh, throw you around by your arm, stupid! Nah! You can't beat me, I'm the pervy pants! Nah, oh, oh. I beg to differ! Oh, torture rack for you! <laughs> I just get right back up and knock you both out! No oh, torture rock again. No oh, torture rock. Yeah. No. Well, that takes care of Purby Pants. Now come on, Peyton. We have to make our way out of here to the next part of town. Yeah, we're really close to the Broad Darkness Agent's headquarters, brother. Let's go. Oh, let's take out these uh, BLM protesters. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, they're coming out of the buildings. Beat them up. Oh, out of these buildings now, too. Hadouken! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Oh yeah! Fist to the face! Yeah! Come on, Peyton! You gotta 
Stay up with me. Ah. Oh, more protesters. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he just fell over. More protesters. Come on. Here we go. Torture rack. Oh. Oh. Hadouken. Hadouken. Knockout. Knockout. You're pretty good, Benji. Just keep up the good work. I don't know why it is y'all guys like to hang outside of record stores. Oh, do good. Oh, torture rock. Oh. Yeah. Now we gotta take care of these really big guys. Oh, Stone Cold Stunner, boy. Oh, another stunner! Oh, another torture rack! Oh, oh. Alright. Come on, we gotta head across the street. Alright. Now let's go find Mark and the rest of the and the rest of the group. But first, let's take down these protester idiots. Yeah! Feel this blade in your throat. Oh, torture rock! Oh! Yeah! Here's a stick for you guys! Oh! Knock you guys out with your own weapons. Come on, let's follow the arrow, Peyton. Stay up with me. Oh! Ah, what the heck is that? I don't know, but someone needs to fix those speakers. These are even more messed up. We have to jump, got to run right past it. Oh, knock you all out. Yeah! Uh-oh. Come here, boy. It's top for a torture rack. Yeah, we took care of him, Peyton. Yeah, come on. We gotta get a little further down the hallway. Now more of these broken speakers. Oh! Got hit by another one. Stupid things. Someone's gotta fix these. Yeah, here we go. Stunner! No, oh, another stunner. Here we go. Yeah. 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 All right, up the elevator. So they send the evil ninja. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. So you're back, dirty work. Take this oh, ho, ho. oh, take that, Mr. Dawn. Oh, 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 the way, oh, asshole. oh, 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 Oh! 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 Ah! Oh, I'm back with my next life. Probably gonna last this long. Oh, I guess that's the end of this, uh, side-scroller type, uh, scene. What are you talking about, Benji? Uh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of the rest on the roof. You go find Mark. Benji. Oh, my god. You found us. Benji. They completely outnumbered us and forced us into the cells. I never would have guessed the anti-fascist group had that many people in it. Don't worry, Mark. 
I want you to go and call for as much help as you can get while I locate where Preston is. Heather, try and get back to the house if you can. Take the alleyways. Hey, Benji. I bet you came here to help me take care of the rival gangs and protesters that have taken over the building. Cheyenne. You tried to take this mission by yourself? I know it seems dangerous, but you need all the help you can get. I'll take care of the idle protesters, and you go look for Preston. He's leader of the anti-fascist group who took over this building. Be careful because he's very dangerous. What are you looking at, boy? Do you know the giant pig? Oh, oh, ouch! Oh, don't you get back up again? Come here! Oh, Ninja Razor Blade! Yo, man, what's up? Oh! Sit down and shut up! Ow! Hello, Demon Ninja. You probably didn't expect to see me here. Looks like you come prepared with your weapons. But are you more than prepared enough to take on the stag himself? Oh ho! The stag is here in the building! Well, guess what? The Emo Ninja is more than prepared to take you on! Oh ho 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 ho! What are you looking at, boy? Come here! What are you looking at, boy? Come here! Well, hello there. You must be the guy that the news and the media is calling the Emo Ninja. Well it's a damn shame that today's the day that you will fail at being the so-called hero that this town deserves. I, Preston Wilkes, will cleanse this town all on my own. And I'm going to start with these pieces of shit idiots who call themselves a police force. But first, how about we get you out of the way? Prepare to die. I'm sorry everybody, I regret to say this but Sad Red Rum got away. I had her cornered in the parking garage, but she got away from me. She's one tough vixen, 
the girl is. It's okay Cheyenne you did your best. But it turns out we are going to need a lot more helping hands if we are going to take down Kazlora herself. Looks to me that we're still under a state of code green. Unfortunately, Castor escaped leaving behind the other protesters. Benji had really proven me wrong. It turns out that he has it in him to become the city's savior. If not that, the next member of the Broad Darkness agents. Maybe he was right. It takes a man with the understanding of mental diseases and illnesses to take care of the people in this town. At least I'll be able to say this, the next protester uprising may be cut short by the wrath of the emo ninja. In the city of Regent City, Florida, hey. a new hero is on the rise wearing nothing but hot topic clothing from 2008 and he storms the streets cutting criminals hey. with razor blades. Hey. Who is this twisted millennial hey. in a Tim hey. Burton suit? Well, he's hey. a friendly hey. psycho. Hey. My name is Benny Dart. Come through like a shark. I'm a ninja, not an art. I tear you apart. My girl left me in the dark. I said, Lord, please help. So I did what I felt. So I did what I felt. Don't need no help. So I did what I felt. I fought the guy. Said so many lies. But well, people ask me why, so I cry. I am the fighting ninja. I am the fighting ninja. I am the emo ninja. I am the fighting ninja. I am the fighting ninja. I am the emo ninja. I'm the fighting ninja. My baby mama left me in the dark, yeah, my name is Benny Dark, yeah, I sleep in the dark, I will hit you with my sword up in your face, yeah, I had a fight with my brother, he is the police, he said if I do something else, that he was go take my ass to jail, my city is corrupted, red liars, whores, and prostitutes, and... And fed in me, crack heads and all that shout out to my nigga Tommy for playing yeah. me on yeah. the beat. Yeah, yeah, my name is yeah. Benny Tommy. Dark. Benny, yeah. Benny yeah. Dark. My name yeah. is Benny yeah. Dark. Benny, Benny Dark. My name is yeah. Benny Dark. I come through with a knife or a sword and I know karate. I would chop your ass in pieces. Shout out to Tommy. Yeah, Benny, Benny Dark. Benny yeah, dark. Benny Dark. Yeah. Benny Dark. Yeah. Emo Ninja. I truly hope you enjoyed the program. This is a Goonie production.